What's up guys, we're here, welcome back to the channel. So today, Diablo finally released some more information about the upcoming season four for Diablo 4. It is called Loot Reborn, which starts May 14th. So they did release us a little bit of some patch notes here. And I'm gonna talk about just a little bit of the things that they have in here. I am gonna link the article down in the description below. So, as you all know, season three has been extended because of the PTR that we got a few weeks ago, and the devs have been working tirelessly to bring us a lot of changes. And you know, hopefully, they listen to a lot of our feedback and stuff from uh, the PTR. So I'm really hoping that they do apply that. We do have a dev stream that is coming up this Thursday. Uh, I believe at 11 a.m. PST. So we'll be able to get the finalized changes to season four and what we're going to be expecting on the upcoming season. So, but what they did release today was a little bit of information called uh, season four loot reborn. I'm assuming that they named it this because of all the significant changes that are actually coming to the game. Um, we all kind of knew that the seasonal theme in a way was going to be pretty lackluster. Um, you know, at best because of all the major changes, I, similar to what we got in season two, right? When we got big changes and even though the, you know, vampiric theme was actually probably, it's still the best theme to date for Diablo four. It, it still was, they probably could have done more with it, but be considering all the huge changes that they had for the game, you know, it was still a big win in season two. So now we're getting that again in season four, where we're going to have you know, a very small seasonal theme, but we get these massive overhauls to the game. So, um, Loot Reborn begins on May 14th at 10 p.m. That is, if I can pull my calendar up here. Oh, my calendar is not on here. Uh, what? Calendar, there we go. So, May 14th, it is going to start exactly two weeks from now uh, on Tuesday, which is going to be fantastic. So uh, let's go ahead and go down. They have a long list here in the codex, guys, so you can definitely go through this. The biggest changes that I am going to be talking about is in the Fight of the Iron Wolves. Okay, this is going to be our new seasonal quest line that is coming to the game. Seek out Battle Hardened and Stalwart. Uh, Stalwart, I don't even know how to say his name. Uh, the Anvil, a stoic field commander of the Iron Wolves. The Iron Wolves band are a band of noble mercenaries in the south seeking to protect the common people of sanctuary and hold themselves to a higher code of honor than other mercenary companies mysteriously members of the ranks have been dying due to suspicious circumstances seek out the source of this slaughter to earn the iron wolves favor i don't know if this is a hint at destiny and like some iron banner stuff i don't know it kind of like when i first read this that's what i thought of but i could just be wrong and maybe it's just that the name is just too similar so it's in uh, Kajistan. You start your journey to have the seasonal quest line. And then working with the Iron Wolves, you earn several temporary manuals, which are the key to unlocking the potential of Season 4 Loot Reborn. So this is going to be a really nice way to get your temporary manuals uh, on top of just like randomly finding them throughout uh, your gameplay through the season, right? Any Iron Wolf events uh, that occur in a Helltide will persist past Season 4 loot reborn so uh this is actually kind of cool it's gonna be an easier way to get your temporary manuals manuals which is kind of nice so uh but besides that a lot of the information in this article i did the reading for you a lot of it is basically the same stuff that we already know about from the previous patch notes so they just kind of go into it in a little bit more detail a little bit more explanation um but besides that, there's just it's the same normal stuff that we already know about. So the devs have already tweeted out or tweeted, treated. They've already tweeted out and said that we're going to have the dev stream and there's going to be a lot more information there. They've also posted it on Reddit. Um, but you can go through this, guys, if you if you haven't read through this before and just see all the changes. There's a few more things. Master working um, will not fail now. So you can do master working the entire time. It does not fail. Uh, this was pointed out um, by another source, which I guess is really nice. So now we don't have the chance to actually lose our success chance. I don't know how true that's going to be if they're going to keep it, but that's kind of nice, I guess. Um, they did change the sounds and uh, icons, if you will, slightly. So it's a little bit easier to see um, the items that have the perfect affixes on them. So when you get a drop of an item right with the... Um, what is it? The, uh, it's basically the, uh, 
what is it? The um, oh my god, Primal Ancients from Diablo Three. Those in this game, you'll be able to see those a little bit easier now. You can see right here from the screenshot. See how it has the one, you know, perfect affix on it, um, or what are they called? Enhanced or extra uh, affixes? I can't remember if I can. I don't remember ruin the. Uh, See, this is what happens when we don't play Diablo because we're just been waiting and waiting and waiting for season four because season three, unless you're casual Andy, no offense to the casual Andes, but there's like nothing to do right now in season three. So it's been uh, it's been really tough to try to play this game. But um, yeah, it's a little bit easier to tell that you have greater affix. That's what it's called. Thank you. Greater affix. So you'll be able to tell that this when the item is on the ground, you'll be able to see it a little bit easier. So uh, outside of that, guys, it's pretty much just uh, regurgitating a lot of the stuff that we already know with the greater affixes, the gems, etc. The Helltide, uh, they talk about the uh, brand new Undarial joining, explaining exactly how to do this, which we already know. Uh, but the Iron Wolves is the brand new thing to be able to get our tempering manual. So I'm really, really excited about that, guys. They do go over the battle pass. Uh, again, man, the battle pass is just pretty... It's pretty plain, guys. It's uh, even looking at this still shot, it's pretty plain. But uh, maybe by the end, we'll get some really, really cool stuff there, which will be, you know, awesome. I'm really hoping that the these rewards that we get from the seasonal journey will be much better. Um, you know, we get tempering manuals, consumables, elixirs, and bane, uh, baneful hearts. So I hope that these get a little bit better. Outside of that, you have uh, just community guides and stuff. I think it was Pure Diablo or somebody that kind of had the additional info on that. But May 2nd uh, at 11 a.m. PT, we'll have the developer live stream where they're going to give us a lot more information, guys. But that is all the brand new news from Diablo and the updated stuff, guys. So I'll link this down in the description below. Make sure to like the video. I know we haven't been posting a lot of Diablo, but um, I'm ready to just, you know, hit the ground running a thousand miles an hour in season four. There's just been literally nothing to do in season three. Uh, we've done everything. We've, we've a hundred, you know, 20 different characters. We've made all the builds that we can make. We've done everything we possibly can do. You know, we've made, you know, a hundred Uber uniques and shattered them all. You know, it's just, there's just nothing to do. So we're waiting for season four. We still have a few more weeks. So, um, yeah. But yeah, guys, this will be down here. Make sure to like the video. Get this to 25 likes or more. That is going to be our goal on the video. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, stay gaming. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.